today we're at Tame Work Holding, we're looking at a number of your products, but on this video I'd like to concentrate on the bar puller. So just to start, why would an engineer use a bar puller? Uh, the reason to use a bar puller is to pull the bar out of, out of the chuck and it's an e easy uh, option, it saves you doing it manually. You know? so yeah, so, so basically your two options, well your three options, you do it manually, which isn't ideal, you can use yeah. a bar puller or you can use, obviously, um, a, 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 bar a bar feeder. Yeah. So <clears throat> this kind of sits in the middle, doesn't it? You, can't, you probably can't pull the, the bar through the length of a three meter bar feed, but this is brilliant for shorter bars and bar ends, and, yes, and for people that haven't got the room for a bar feeder. Yes, uh, the, it depends on the size of your machine. Uh, you can put the bar uh, same length as your machine, and you can, so you don't need to have a bar feeder on the outside taking all, all up the space. You know? So it's important to know this is designed and manufactured at Tame. Yes, it's, uh, it was, ma it was our, uh, manufactured in house and we designed it so, uh, and it was d done by our design team in the office and we man manufactured it in SOP, SOP as well. So. And I know there's, since the time this was manufactured, initially in 1988, you've sold hundreds, if not thousands, of these. But how does that actually work? It's a simple, uh, it's only got like a spring mechanism inside it. So the jaws will come and uh, come towards the bar and climb over the bar and they'll just grip it and then just pull it. So it only works on the spring mechanism. There's no uh, other mechanical parts on there. So there's no hydraulic, no air. It just works on spring base. And obviously this is a physical part. There's, there's moving parts, but like you say, there's no hydraulics, no pneumatics, no air. How long can you expect this to last if you don't have a smash? Uh, it'll last for forever I think. Long the only thing you might need to do later on is if it doesn't grip is just replace the spring mechanism inside and that's quite easy to do as well. It won't be that expensive to replace the spring rather than buying the whole unit itself. So just to conclude why would an engineer buy one? Well it's, it's a simple uh, unit to, to operate and use and it's uh, quite uh, cost effective as well. Uh, and it's quite easy to use as well. So if you've got a load of parts you've got to manufacture, it's, a, uh, it's one of the tools you need 